you guys welcome back to another video so excited to be sharing this week of workouts if you guys didn't know i have a ton of these on my channel already i have an entire playlist which i'll leave down below but this one's a little different because i filmed the entire thing while i was out traveling in south korea i was there for two weeks and the last half of my trip was in seoul i really love this video concept because i got to document my training as well as my traveling do i think it's necessary to work out while traveling Definitely not. Everyone's version of vacation looks different. I know personally though, I do enjoy making time for it. It's fun to, you know, explore new gyms, try new classes, meet new people. By the way, if you guys like any of my gym fits, Gymshark, if you want to shop my favorite supplements, beam. My code Chris will get you 10% off both of those orders. Yes, let's get this week of workouts in Seoul going. Woo! Oh, what a set up. Yo, I'll flip the camera for y'all so you can see what's in front of me. Just arrived in Seoul and we have this gorgeous freaking view of, oh, my mom's cacao talk going off. If you can hear her talking outside, sorry about that. I'm currently traveling right now, but I decided why not film a week of workouts because I'm gonna try my best to stay active, stay somewhat in my routine that might not be a gym session every day, but I do plan on doing at least a couple. This hotel supposedly has a pretty nice gym. We're gonna go downstairs in just a bit, scope it out, see what we're working with, you know? Before then, I'm gonna prep my little pre-workout drink. So I did pack this blender bottle with me from You Can Beam, which code Chris gets you 10% off their website. And I packed a bunch of these travel sticks. So these came out literally right before my trip. So I packed them and it was perfect. Super greens here. And I also have a pre-workout. So let's take one of these. This is the pink lemonade flavor. Let's use whatever's left of this water. So I've been in South Korea for almost a week now. I got here last Wednesday. So just under a week. I've definitely been walking a ton. Have I been working out though? That's a different question. The one really challenging workout that I have done so far this week was actually the ACFT, aka the Army Combat Fitness Test. I literally took it alongside soldiers from the US Army in Daegu and it was just like the coolest experience ever. You guys need to check out that experience in my other vlog. Anyway. Okay, I'm ready. All right, y'all, so this hotel gym was actually pretty dang impressive. So many treadmills, machines, free weights, kettlebells, all the things I needed to do a proper leg day. So that's what we're doing. I'm starting off with some glute-focused back extensions. I'm holding on to a 25-pound plate for the first 15 reps. I'm keeping my chin tucked and upper back slightly rounded and doing a short motion here to help isolate the burn in my upper glutes. 15 weighted, and then I dropped the weight for 10 more of these body weight. I completed four sets as my warm-up. Moving on, I'm grabbing a single medium to heavy-ish dumbbell. I didn't quite know the kilo to pound conversion at this time, but I just guesstimated. I'm doing single leg B stance RDLs, so just working the right side first. I'm using my left leg as a kickstand. My right side is doing the work. I'm just hinging and bending away as I normally would for an RDL. I did 10 reps on one side, 10 reps on the other, and repeated that for four sets. Next up, my favorite heel elevated goblet squats. These, 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 these. Oh man, if you're not sweating by this portion of the workout, you'll be sweating after these. I grabbed one heavier dumbbell to hold on to by my chest. I'm squatting down with toes pointed slightly outward and heels elevated up on a plate. 10 to 12 reps for four sets. I have to be somewhat discreet during this workout because I don't really want to be filming in here, which is kind of a bummer because one of the reasons why I even booked this hotel is because and have a nice gym, but that's all right. We'll make it work. I'm risking it for y'all. Feels so nice to be sweating on vacation. See, so yeah, I had to be very, very secretive about filming here. So you guys are literally propped up inside my tote bag. There was a guy basically on guard right at the front of the gym and he told us that there was no filming. So anyway, next I'm doing Bulgarian split squats. I have a kettlebell in each hand keeping a slight forward lean. I'm moving up and down, but rather in a diagonal motion. So just picturing that I'm on an escalator rather than an up and down elevator, you know? These were so rough, but it definitely felt good to throw these in today. Eight reps on one side, eight reps on the other side, and I repeated that for four sets. And to finish off, my mom and I did a superset on the abductor and adductor machines. So we basically switched back and forth between these two to target both the outer and inner thighs. 
Four sets of that will wrap up this leg day. And after doing a little bit more wandering around the space, we came across these massage machines. All right, just finished, but we're gonna mess some equipment here. What the heck is this? What are the ways we do up here? Oh! Oh! Good morning, y'all. So the gym filming situation is not going in my favor. <laughs> I tried my best to record everything yesterday and then I went this morning. But today was a quick workout anyways, 30 minute cycle ride and then 10 minutes of stretching. My legs are actually feeling so sore after that first leg day. Probably just cause I haven't really worked out in some time. But that was a nice way to start off my morning regardless. Now I'm going to freshen up, shower, get changed for the day, grab, I guess, late breakfast, early lunch. Good morning, my friends. We're up bright and early. It is Thursday and my mom and I ended up switching hotels last night. The location of our last hotel was just not the most convenient. We're now staying in Gangnam, which I was so, so happy about because it's just much more central to the places we wanted to go to. And on top of that, there were no restrictions on filming in the gym. So here's what we're working with. Because of my jet lag, I was up at 5 a.m. basically every day of my two week trip. So I was here at the gym at the butt crack of dawn. <laughs> this morning, I just wanted to get a good stretch in and have a moment for myself. So I ended up doing a yoga flow off of the Peloton app, which I have on my phone. I freaking love it, especially for traveling back home we do have the Peloton bike. But with that, the membership gives you access to the app as well. The amount of classes that they have on there and are continuously adding is just insane. There's yoga, strength, cycling, boxing, treadmill workouts. It's got it all and I used it quite a few times during my trip. As much as I love a sweaty, heavy lift or intense cardio session, I equally love some chilled time on my mat to get my mind and body right. That was amazing, amazing. There were a few people coming in and out during that sesh, but for the most part, I had the gym to myself, which felt so, it felt so peaceful and serene. And with the sunrise coming up here, there's a window that's slightly cracked. So throughout the course of my class, I could just hear the city getting slightly more busy. A soul is waking up on this fine, Thursday? Thursday. But yeah, I definitely needed that. I'm actually taking my first ever F45 class and I'm meeting someone who has followed me for quite some time now. We've talked in the DMs before, but when I first got to Korea, she sent over so many, so many recommendations and I got into contact with her and we ended up planning to go to a workout together. So that's really fun and exciting. It's so cool that I have, you know, just friends scattered around the world. bus i did indeed miss my stop so i'm walking backwards now or walking back towards where i'm supposed to be like i mentioned i'm taking an f45 class which is like functional training my kind of class but i've actually never worked out here before even in the states oh i see it i see it success and i'm on time too a little bit early actually oh <gasps> hello Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Wait, how do you pronounce your name? Yaren. Yaren. It's I like was, Karen, but with a Y. I know, I was like, okay, <laughs> that's pretty straightforward, but yeah. just to be sure. Nice to finally meet. So I weird, know. I've been watching you forever. <laughs> Today, we picked between upper and lower body, so do you have a preference? What are you doing? I was just gonna do whatever you wanted to do. <laughs> My legs are honestly very Good sore. Good morning. Good morning. So, upper body? Upper? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> All right, y'all, how exciting. This is my first F45 class. I did not know that they had F45 studios worldwide. So super cool that my first time was here in Seoul and with someone who, you know, has watched my videos for so many years now. I filmed a decent amount. So we started off with some dynamic stretching, body weight warmups, all that jazz.
And just to give you a breakdown on what F45 workouts are, it basically combines elements of HIIT, circuit training, and functional training. All things that I love, basically, and things that are just right up my alley. The format that we did today, I don't know if this is for every F45 class, but there were basically six stations that we rotated through in pairs. So obviously, my friend Yuren and I, we paired up. But yeah, you guys can see what we did for the workout. I just wanted to say how fun of an experience this was. Being in South Korea, there's a language barrier for me. Your girl does not know Korean. Yuren is fluent in both Korean and English, which is so cool. Going into a group fitness class in a foreign country it can definitely be intimidating if you don't speak the native language. One of the two coaches at F45 today did speak English, which was great, but I do think that regardless, fitness is this universal language that brings people together, which I love. Doesn't matter what language you speak, but we know how to do an overhead shoulder press. We know how to do push-ups. We know how to move our bodies in unison and just come together as a community. So, super fun experience. things off all together with some core and yeah that wrapped it up 45 minutes boom done I was struggling to find the exit though. We made it. Okay, now. The commute was not bad at all. It took about 40 minutes to get here. I was thinking about this earlier, but standing on the subway and trying not to use your hands and just balancing body workout as is just arrived eden pilates so my cousin i guess yeah my head of Uji's sister so my mom's aunt her son is my mom's cousin my mom's cousin's daughter is my cousin right she teaches here she's an instructor here and she invited me to come take her class i only recently started taking pilates classes i've probably taken no more than 10 so i have minor experience but we'll see how this goes christy will be teaching us today and i think she's gonna be instructing in korean she said she would be able to help and say things in english but i was like it's okay like i don't want to disrupt the class so i'll probably just look around and hopefully we'll get the hang of it pilates is definitely a different type of workout than what i'm used to and it'll be really challenging so let's get in there okay <laughs> apparently i'm getting a private lesson <laughs> i'm scared <laughs> since arriving in seoul i actually noticed so many pilates studios so i'm guessing it's very popular here as it also is in the u.s you can definitely see the appeal it improves posture flexibility strength 
balance. This was my first ever private one-on-one -on -one training session ever, I want to say. Definitely different than any Pilates class I've ever taken back home just because first off, not a group setting. <laughs> and number two, we focus more on stretching and slowly moving through poses and holding at the deepest points. There wasn't any loud music going. Definitely a slower change in pace, but don't be fooled because this was still challenging as hell. Oh my, oh, so even up here. Happy Saturday! Here we are for a CrossFit workout here at Project Run in Seoul. A gal named Min who trains here, she actually invited me to join, so I was super stoked to be meeting another friend and to be trying something new. Now, I've definitely taken inspiration from CrossFit workouts in my own training in terms of functional movements, high intensity, but I've never actually done a class in a CrossFit gym. First things first, we got warmed up, we did some stretching. I had a pretty late night the night before on Friday night. I was just needing to wake up, so this stretching session was actually so nice. Before getting into the actual workout, the coach walked us through how to properly do hang, clean, and jerks. <laughs> I've only tried doing hang cleans in the gym a couple times and because I've never had proper training, it would hurt my wrists and it just, my form was just not good. So this was nice to actually get a breakdown of how to do it. Min here was doing these beautifully um, form impeccable. My form, questionable. We also went through the other two exercises of today's workout, which was the row machine and then wall walls. We did a couple practice rounds to make sure we got the moves down and then it was time to start. Basically, we partnered up, we split the total number of reps or for example, on the row machine, we split the number of calories. So Min would do, I want to say like 10 cal, and then I would hop on, do 10 cal, then her, then me, then her, and then me, and then we move on to our next exercise, which was wall balls. She goes, I go, she goes, I go, and so forth. Honestly, I just followed after Min's lead, and we did three rounds for time. I loved how everything was full body, everything was working, and although it was only three exercises that we were rotating through, it was a killer, killer workout overall. I definitely was feeling this the next day. Oh, did you check the time? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was like, oh, I didn't realize. Ah, <laughs> You killed it. Dude, you're literally a pro. My first ever CrossFit workout. <gasps> you just did such a great job. I, I feel like, you know how a lot of people are intimidated of the gym or intimidated of whatever? I feel like for me, it's CrossFit. It's kind of the scarier yeah. version of weightlifting. I don't know. But everyone was very welcoming here and the instructor or like the coach taught us through it in the beginning. He led as a great example. Hello. So thank you. <laughs> Guys, this is Min. Hi. She also has a YouTube channel. Go Min subscribe. Minglish? Yes, Minglish. Minglish. Nice. Um, most of my videos are in Korean, but I do plan on making some English ones, so... Your English is, like, perfect. I lived in the States. Okay, yeah. I was okay. actually in San Jose. Oh, really? Honestly, kind of intimidated coming into this and a little bit tired this Saturday morning, but we made it, and... Yay. Yeah, it's fun working out while traveling. I feel like it keeps me in my routine, but also it allows me to meet new people. Yeah. <laughs> like, who would have thought? I DM'd her mm -hmm. thinking that she's not gonna check my DM. <laughs> oh, you know, she worked out in F45, so I might as well just reach Shoot out to her. Shoot your shot, yeah. After doing CrossFit, how do you feel now? I really enjoyed it. It's still gonna be difficult for me to like try to find a community where I could 
ease into it, I guess. Because there's tons of CrossFit gyms, but it's like everyone's already so like advanced. Yeah. Kind of, it feels like <laughs> it's all tightly knit together. Yeah, it was a fun experience trying it, and maybe in the future I'll do my CrossFit. <laughs> Say hi to YouTube. Hi. 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 <laughs> You're good. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you. <laughs>we are for my last and final workout here in Seoul <laughs> so so sad today it is Monday my last full day our flight was much later in the evening so I wanted to get a good session in before the long flight home definitely needed that rest day on Sunday but today we are back at the hotel gym I already raved about how much I love having the Peloton app on my phone earlier in this video and today I decided to do a 60 minute tread boot camp which consists of intervals on the treadmill and then intervals of strength using dumbbells honestly so perfect for hotel gyms because most gyms have treadmills and weights. There are plenty of days, especially when I'm traveling, where I don't feel like putting together my own workout or choosing my own music. So hitting play and following along is just the most convenient thing ever. I really didn't follow a proper split this past week because last few days I've been pretty much doing full body, but I really don't mind it. I love mixing it all together and just training a little bit of everything every day. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the variety of moves from today's sesh because it was a super solid one. I really, really wish this wasn't my last workout here, but I think we ended it off on a high note. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to this point in the video, you're a real one. I literally want to do this every place I go to now, but seriously, it was so much fun. Traveling to a new place, training in a new place. I would say a really big benefit of working out while traveling, and it doesn't have to be every day, but like kind of staying in routine is that when you get back from traveling, you don't have to get back into routine. Obviously the jet lag freaking sucked coming back, but in terms of my training, I got back to my home gym and was feeling good. Honestly, I think that's pretty awesome. So I definitely see traveling and working out as going hand in hand. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. You can find more content from me at San Francisco. And I know the Korea content is coming slowly, but it is coming surely. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. That is it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.